I wanted to do a comparison video for you on the Wink of Stella glitter pin and the Sakura Ball Sign Tiara Burststone colors. So the, let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, four. The uh, Stella Wink of Glitter pin comes in 15 colors. The Birthstone one, of course, comes in 12, one for every month. But I just want to talk, if you're interested in glitter pens, I just want to talk to you a little about the differences between these two. Of course, some of the obvious differences are the Wink of Stella is a couple dollars, oh, sorry, it's twice as expensive as the Tiara. I think this one is like $125 and this one is like $248. It could be wrong. I will double check and I will annotate this video if I'm wrong. The Wink of Stella is really good for your crafting projects. It's acid-free, archival quality, pigment ink. You do want to keep it horizontal when you're storing it. It keeps the glitter dispersed evenly throughout the pen. So a couple things to point out about this, and I will draw here. So first of all, one weird thing that I just want to let you know in case you're interested in this pen is the dark pink is actually comes out lighter than the regular pink if you ask me i love the regular pink let me show you the dark pink so i mean i don't know maybe it's just the way i look at color or something i'll put the red next to it too Let's see if it will it is it showing how shiny they are they're very shiny but if you ask me, the dark pink is lighter than the regular pink, unless there's just something about color I am not understanding. And then of course, this one is the, you know what, hold on, I'm gonna go get the whole set. Okay, here are the 12 colors, and you can buy these individually or in the set, of course. Let me do, so this one is the Garnet Rose. Um, this one is the Ruby Red. And this one is the Pearl Pink. Or actually I think it's, oh, yeah, Pearl Pink, okay. So let me hold these up. I hope you can see, they actually all have quite a bit of glitter in them. And I would say some of the big differences are when I'm using the Wink of Stella, I can get some spray especially if I'm pressing very hard at all. So you can actually see some spray. It's not, it's definitely not terrible, but those spots right there are actually spray. Now this does not happen with the um, Sakura Tiara. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I do not think that these are archival quality. I am gonna find out and I'm gonna annotate the video um, because that is an important difference, especially if you're into like a craft, you know, like scrapbooking and stuff like that. The Sakura ball sign are a little bit wetter and I feel like they're a little harder to control. They also are more prone to like clotting up and skipping. Now these are working really nice. A lot of times I'll go to use these and I do use them all the time, I love them. And they will be like, I'll have to like really work to get it going again. I think they're, they kind of clot up in the tip a lot. I don't feel like that happens to the Wink of Stella as much. Now the Wink of Stella is a much less wet marker. So you can probably kind of, sorry can kind of see they're both glittering like a ton and you can probably see the this one is you know wetter so I you get a little bit of smear 
this one dries faster it's and it's definitely a drier drier ink so i think these are important differences the wink of stella is drier and easier to control and is less prone to any kind of skipping or having coagulation problems you know being hard to to get going that doesn't really happen to me with the wink of stella but it does happen occasionally with the sakura tiara birthstone colors now if you just compare these colors side by side i do feel like there's a little bit more vibrancy in the in the birthstone the birthstone ones it's much more like using a wet gel pen whereas the wink of stella it's much more like using a marker so why don't i go ahead and swatch I do have swatches on my website, but let me go ahead and like swatch the colors for you so that you have the side-by-side -side comparison. Oh no, this one's silver. I'm getting spray right now. This one's clear. Okay, so. So as you can see, these have a much shorter drying time than these. These will still smear quite a bit after you've drawn with them. So I always use these on the packing slips, but I always feel like I have to like let that packing slip dry a lot before I fold it and put it in the package. Whereas I wouldn't feel as much like that with the Wink of Stella. But you can see also with the Wink of Stella, you are getting some spray. See where the black sprayed? I guess splatter. And that's just, you know, when you're using it. When I was first sampling that, I thought it was clear, but it was silver. So that's why I tried to like scribble over that. And the clear is actually below it. So obviously on white paper, it's not going to show up, but comes across as just like shimmer and so you can actually one of the ways that people like to use it is tracing over other lettering it's a good way of adding glitter to the lettering so if you have any questions about the wink of stella glitter pen or the sakura tiara and the differences i really think depending on what you want to use them for one can be quite a bit better than the other let me know if you have any questions and have a great day.